When you first enter the workplace, that working hard, doing your job, turning up every day, having good behaviours and working well with people is the is the biggest thing that will differentiate you. So hi there, I'm Nick Ulitz. I'm the Chief Operating Officer um, at a business called Domestic in General. Um, Domestic in General is a company that looks after household appliances and gadgets. So we are a um, quite an old company. We've been around for 100 years. Uh, we've got 3,000 employees and we look after 16 million customers globally. I wasn't enormously academic. Um, I've retaken my maths GCSE uh, three times before and um, had uh, the right grades uh, to do my A-levels. So, so it certainly wasn't really academic, but I was always hard working. Um, and I think academic success is really helpful in, in getting doors to open for you. It gets you access and it gets you opportunities. But it is only one part of the puzzle. Um, and I can see it now through a different lens that employers really value other skills and personal attributes as well. There is no uh, better uh, uh, factor to influence an employer than just working really hard. The people that turn up, turn up to work every day, work really hard and do it with the, with the right attitude can really set themselves apart. They don't need to be some academic master. Um, they just need to have a really good attitude and work hard and it will instantly set you apart from other people. Um, so I didn't think that this is how my life would turn out. I thought that I would end up in, 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 in maybe some sort of clerical office based job or, or, or some sort of manual um, type work. Um, and I'm really fortunate to live in a country the UK is a fantastic place um, to progress your career with opportunities. And I, I've been, I'm very grateful for those opportunities. But I, I've given you a couple of examples of, of jobs and, and work experience that I've got. Against those handful that I've got, there's hundreds that I haven't got. Um, and I think um, my real encouragement to anyone entering the workplace now is be tenacious. I mean, you might apply for 100 jobs and get 99 rejection letters. If you get one interview, it's really, really great progress um, and something you should celebrate. So when I left university, um, I worked for um, a business called Church Insurance. I went there as a, uh, um, as a graduate HR advisor, so went into the in-house uh, HR team um, and it was a great role for me um, from an HR perspective so I was interviewing people every day I was taking people through disciplinaries through grievances and it taught me technically how to do my job um, and those technical skills have really helped me in good search for the future so I'll even now so, you know nearly 20 years on um, reflect on, on on the experience that I got from Churchill um, and it was a really full-on operational job so it's really busy all day long uh, a constant demand of work. Um, it's just a, a really fantastic uh, training ground. Um, what it also was, it was a business that was very uh, suitable to me and where I was from a life stage perspective. So it's very young, it was a very sociable business, people were always out for drinks and, and partying. It was, a, it was a good, fun environment to, to, to work in, but also to effectively learn uh, my trade. So I had a great um, almost three years there and really enjoyed it. Being Chief Operating Officer means I've got several responsibilities. So the first is I run our operations, and that's mainly our call centres. So I run a couple of big call centres, uh, one in Nottingham and one in Brighton. Um, I also run the HR function, so the human resources function, making sure our people and our employees are happy and they've got the right skills, they've got the right training. And I also look after our communications team, and that's making sure that we communicate internally, but also um, externally as well. First of all, just get some work experience. Don't worry about it being um, too closely aligned to what your future career might be. You know, I talked about being um, doing shelf stacking in Sainsbury's. It's a fantastic organisation to work in. It's a really big business. They treat their employees really well. I learned how to work as part of a team. I learned how to work with a supervisor. I got different skills. I worked on the till. Um, I, um, it, it was really uh, personally lucrative, so I used to work all through the holidays. I used to fund uh, my studies and my trips. 
But then when I applied for jobs, if you've got two candidates and you've got somebody who has never worked, they, 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 they haven't got any experience whatsoever, or you've got someone who can demonstrate that they got up for work every day, they attended work like appropriately and smartly dressed, that they've worked with customers, that they've worked with cash, they can be trusted, you will select that person because they've demonstrated that they can do that. So get some work experience. Don't be too selective about what it is, but get experience of working in a business, working as part of the team and demonstrating some of those skills and some of that capability. So I think that's really, really important. When you first enter the workplace, that working hard, doing your job, turning up every day, having good behaviors and working well with people is the, is the biggest thing that will differentiate you. To do that, and opportunities from there will, 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 will follow. They absolutely will. The things that I've particularly enjoyed about work, uh, work is a very social experience. Mm -hmm. um, and w when you first join the workplace from education, um, what you realize is that you're with very different people. Um, they are, there'll be five different generations in one office. Um, they'll be from different um, social backgrounds. So you could work with someone who's, um, you know, very middle class, very uh, privileged, and, 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 and you might be joining there from a different perspective with different um, sort of views of, of, of where you came from. So you work with very diverse people. Um, and what you realize is people aren't that different and you can form friendships and relationships with those people um, that are very different to the type of people that you'd normally socialize with. And that's really cool. You learn a lot from those people. They're really different. Um, and work can fulfill something social in you as well. There's always you know, drinks events, there's sporting events, there's social events. Um, it, it, can, it can really enrich your life if you work with a bunch of people um, that, you, that you enjoy spending time with. Um, and that you build the right relationships. To enable that to happen, you have to approach it in an open-minded way. When you first sort of go into an office and you look around, you're like, wow, these are not, these people don't look like me, they don't speak like me, they don't come from where I come from, um, and they feel quite alien and they feel quite different. But if you approach it with an open mind, you can form lifelong relationships that will really serve you well uh, for the future. got this on my desk so this is my um my granddad's radio um uh so it's, it's a really old old um old radio the reason i, I the reason i keep it the reason i quite like it is um he was married to my grandmother for 50 years but he used to sort of say that radio was one of the reasons why because he could go off to his potting shed um, and listen to the radio and get some peace so i always think it's quite funny when i sit here and look at it mm -hmm.